You're looking at a species that have managed to survive for a half a billion years. They've figured out how to harmonize with their environment in order to last that long. This is actually an insane time for horseshoe crabs. People come from all over the world to see them, particularly in the Delaware Bay region where that's pretty much the epicenter of horseshoe crab spawning in the United States. But the concentration that we have here is larger than any other place in the world. And six. The surveys that we do, they're done on the same night. They're done in the same way year after year. We have a, a one meter quadrat, a square, putting it down every 20 meters and we're counting the males and females that are within that quadrat. They don't just rush up on the beach, hey look, it's high tide, and lay a bunch of eggs. That doesn't pay off. The females require sand that's lubricated with water to a certain degree so that they can dig through it and they also need it dry enough that they can create a cavity under themselves into which they release a batch of eggs. So she's going to lay about a, a cluster of eggs that's maybe about the size of a golf ball. There'll be about four or 5,000 eggs in there. And then after she's laid those, you'll see her plow forward, go down a little bit, and do it again, and then she'll do it again, and she'll do it again, maybe four or five times in one tide for about 20,000 eggs. For every female that you'll see on a spawning tide, there are several males. She won't come ashore to spawn unless she has a male clipped onto her. But there are other males that are jostling around because by doing things right, they can achieve some paternity during spawning. They sort of game the system. The pharmaceutical biomedical industry uses a test that's made from the blood of the horseshoe crab to determine whether there's any kind of bacteria that would cause an infection, a fever, and cause us to die. Anything that's injected into our system, anything that comes in contact with our blood, that includes even the needle, the saline solution, uh, spinal fluids like epidurals, anything that comes in contact with those systems. The blood of horseshoe crabs can be taken from the crab without causing 100% mortality. In fact, the mortality is about 30% of the bled crabs. Then those crabs that have been bled are released within 24 hours of capture. I feel this anticipation every year when the horseshoe crabs are starting to come ashore to spawn. We, we've got a lot of measures in place that are already starting to bear fruit from the declines that we had back in the 90s but we still have a, a ways to go before we feel that the population is healthy and robust. Every year when I'm seeing horseshoe crabs come up onto the beach, I'm watching something that has played out for millions and millions and millions of years, and I'm just in awe.